something I just wanted to bring to your attention before the episode starts. We just played Charlie and off camera, but something I want to bring to your attention is Burnley are apparently trying to sign about six of our players. They're interested apparently in Bart Bielkowski. They're all also interested in um, Tristan Nydam, I think it is. Yeah, Tristan Nydam, Andre Dazelle, Ben Falami, um, and also Sol Shotton. So that is one, two, three, four. That is five of our players Burnley are interested in. Well, I'm telling you now, if they want to sign all five of them players, they're going to need about 100 million. I'm not even joking. Cough the money up because I'm not selling. Hopefully we can keep hold of this young talent. What's going on guys? My name is Ashley and welcome back to This Is It FM. This is episode 15 and today we have got a double header against Fulham and Derby. Since we were last here, we played Cardiff and Norwich in a double header where we lost 3-0 to Cardiff and drew 1-1 with Norwich. Since then, we have started to find some, some form and some good performances. It started with a 2-1 win against Charlton. We played against 10 men for the second half. Lawrence Shankman scored a penalty in the last minute to seal the victory. It was a desperate, desperate winner. But it was the start of what I've seen is the, the better performances. And I'm so, so chuffed. Next up, we played Forest. We lost 2-0. It wasn't a, a fantastic game as far as the match stats go. The performance we picked up, we left off against uh, Charlton, but we couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. So I was like, oh, this game, it furthered my encouragement for performances going forward. Next game, we played Leeds, and we won 2-0 away from home. Great, great, great performance. Conor McKendry and Lawrence Shankland with the goals. Herbie Kane was sent off in 65 minutes, but we did hold on for a clean sheet. Most recently, we played Birmingham at home, and we won 1-0. Idris El Mazzuni scoring his first professional goal, getting a rare start in the field alongside Downs today. I felt like Mazzuni hasn't been given much of a chance. I mean, I, the, with the pressure I've had this season with the four performances, I've tried to stick with the, the strong sides we have, but I think with the two re re recent wins recently, it's giving me a bit of confidence now to start spreading the the match the, the game time out to some of the younger boys again. Obviously, most of our team is full of young lads, but I mean the younger, younger lads. Danny Ray played on the, the right inside forward position, won 7.6, played very, very well, stepping in for Marcus Madison as we made a few rotational changes just to keep players fresh for today's game against Fulham. Fonseca is back from injury, played well. Mitch Clark and Sol Shot are playing well in centre defence together and they will stay there for today's game. Injury news, Conor McEndry is injured again. He's out for four weeks to two months now. I have sent him to a specialist. Hopefully he'll be back sooner than expected. So this season, I put down the bad start of the season to the squad dynamics. Still not over, especially the hierarchy, is still not great. We're still looking for highly influential players. However, the influential players has been, has been increased and that is a fantastic sign Hopefully these guys can now start stepping up to the next stage. The match cohesion, dressing room atmosphere and manager support has all increased. And that has partly been down to the fact that I have been praising the player. Every every other week I play I praise every player with um good you know, every 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 other week with training, anyone that performs in not or over in the ratings, I praise them. And before every game now, I basically praise each player and their conduct as well. If a player is in the team for the next game, I will not praise that player of contact again. But any rotational players that come in, for example, Walker's, Walker Peters come in today. He didn't play the last game, so today I've praised his conduct. It's something I've been working on. The morale has, has gone up all over the squad. It's fantastic. As far as training goes, I've also been working on putting more... Uh, I can't, can't look at previous months. I've also been working on getting more out of the training and putting some team team bonding sessions in, getting more match preparation because the match preparation sessions really do affect the team cohesion and of course the the morale of the side which is great. So that's been what's something I've been working on this week. We've had a, a tough training week. Hopefully it will pay off. I mean before today's episode I wouldn't have been expecting to beat Fulham but with, with regards to our recent form I've got high hopes of us pulling off a shock result today. So today we start at in goal. Along the back four we have Empers, Sean, Clark and Walker Peters. Midfield we have Bishop and Downs. Tack midfield, Caden Jackson still getting his chance on the left, especially now Connor Kendry's out injured. Dazelle in the tap midfield, Marcus Mendes on the right. 
Ben Flamey up front has been kept out of the team by Shanklin recently as Shanklin has been banging the goals in. However, the last one or two games, he's not performed very well. So I'm just going to do a bit of rotation. I might keep doing that because they, both these players are capable of scoring goals. If we can keep rotating them and they both come in and keep scoring goals, that is going to be good for us. Fulham start, of course, with a very, very strong squad. Relegated from the Premiership last year. They have lost Sassignon, um from the looks of things. If we have a quick look, actually, we can see exactly what Fulham have done in the transfer window. Transfers history. So this season, they did sell a few of their strong players. Kearney, Sassignon, Mawson, Bettinelli, all were sold in the end. Sassignon, only 15 million. Well, 20, could have 24 million. That feels like that's a very good deal for Arsenal there. However, they did spend 21 million. So they've definitely um, reinvested in the squad very well. Currently fourth place in the championship table at the moment. Today is going to be a very, very difficult game. But due to our recent results, we have pushed ourselves towards the mid-table. Six points away from relegation zone now. If we can get a couple of wins today, we'll be buzzing. And the expectation, my expectation of making the playoffs will be firmly back in place. Come on. First highlight comes to us but from the looks of things. Let's hope it is. Bielkowski with a goal kick out wide left to Empus into Bishop who plays Jackson. Jackson switches across to Madison but he's not there. Scherler intercepts and now Fulham counter attack. Shotton intercepts the long ball. Plays back to Bielkowski. Bielkowski now out wide right to Clark. Forward to Madison to Walker Peters. Plays a sp splitting ball through for Flamy but Figueroa is there to intercept and Fulham clear the danger. Shotton now. Danger's not over now. Madison. Coming inside on his left peg. <sighs> Terrible shot over the bar. Fulham now. To Juan Carlos, to Christie. It's not to Wallace. Wallace back to Christie on the right. Inside the Hugo up front on his own. Zambo and Guiza. Out wide left to McQueen. McQueen, what does he do? Inside to Wakaso. Wakaso across to Mikel. Bishop gets a ball and puts a ball through for Jackson. Jackson's got the pace. He's got Flamy to his right, plays to Flamy, Flamy shoots and one Carlos parries out wide to the left, corner kick to town. Bishop to take the corner, puts the ball in, back post, Jackson's there, he's pushed Kugel apparently and that is a free kick to Fulham. One of the very, very good starts of the game for us here and it's another highlight, Dezel to Madison, tackle by McQueen, but Dezel plays to Bishop, Walker Peters, puts a ball in, no one's there, Wallace clears and as far as Empis though, Back into Bishop. Empus again. Bishop to Zazel. Bishop, good ball out to the left. Empus, he whips it in. Falami's there. McQueen heads it out. Is it McQueen? Nah, it was a. It was Falami. Had a go on goal, but went, had a go on goal, but went wide. Juan Carlos now. Out left to Lemachan. Lemachan. McQueen. Scherler. God, great player, Scherler. Don't want to keep hold of him. Bishop, good ball out to the left of Jackson. Still looking to make an impression. He's pulled up there. What's happened there? Fulham clear. Wallace now on the right. Fulham not yet really done anything. And Wallace, terrible ball. Bielkowski regains possession comfortably. Throws up left to shot on Bishop. We are in control of the game here. Forward to Jackson. To Bishop. Inside to Dezel. Dezel, good ball for Empis. Runs on. Falami's in there. Puts a ball in, and my chance cleared. Down's on the edge, what a shot. Yeah, here we go, Caden Jackson. Get in there, son. You deserve that goal, you've stayed. I mean, this guy, Caden Jackson, he hasn't played hardly at all since I've been the manager of the club, and every so often I give him a chance, he hasn't done it. I've kept faith in him, and he's, he's paid me back today, scoring a goal. But what a shot that was from Downs on the edge of the box. We take the lead, and that is half time. We're one up. What a performance so far. I was not expecting this, but I certainly will take it. I mean, I was depressed a couple of games ago, but I've stuck to it. I mean, if I wasn't doing this YouTube series, I would have quit this game. Definitely would have quit it. But the fact that I'm putting on YouTube, I have to show that I'm, you know, obviously I'm, I'm making videos like you'd think that I think I'm good at the game. I think I am good at the game, but it's been difficult with the squad dynamics, but I think we're getting there. Um, happy with your performance, keep it up in team talk. So yeah, we start the second half now. Hopefully we can hold on, maybe get a second goal. Today will be a brilliant win if we can get it. Madison now, 
is this the first high, pointless highlight? Bishop out wide to Empus. Tackle by Wallace. Ball goes out of play. Marcus Madison pulled up with a, a potential foot injury. Danny Rose come on to replace him. We have got just over half an hour left. 15 minutes left. Empus with a throw into the Zell. Good tackle by Fulham. A big ball forward for Mitrovic, who's come off the bench. Mitrovic. Oh, Mitrovic. Mitrovic with a good shot. And Bielkowski palms it over for a corner for Fulham. Wallace to take. Whips it in. Mitrovic is there again with a header. Causing a lot of problems there for us. But we stay 1-0 up. We are into the final minute of extra time. We are still 1-0 up. Can we hold on? Fulham. Good ball forward for Scherler. But you can't keep it in. That's a throw in for town. Is this the end? The final whistle blows. What a victory that was for us today. 1-0 winners against Fulham. Against all odds. Absolutely fantastic. Here we go then guys. The next game is against Derby. And we start on goal with, of course, Bielkowski. In defence we've got Kenlock, Watmore, Lerero, Fonseca. And midfield we have Nydam and Kane. Attack my field, we have Jackson, Salalem, Madison. Up front, we have Falami. Derby start off with a 4 5 1 formation today. Doesn't look like the strongest Derby side in recent years, but we will not be underestimating them. Hopefully, we can win this game and follow on our big victory against Fulham, and that will really push us up the table. Come on. Well, that's half time, and it is still 0 0. No highlights to see as yet. By the match stats, you can see we are dominating the game. Can we push on and finally make this domination count and push on to win the game? Well, here we go. Two minutes into the, sec into the second half and the first highlight it's been shown for today's game. And Brashy now in midfield for Derby. He's been forced to go backwards with three players after him. Now two. Brashy goes to switch play but only goes as far as Madison. Madison coming forward. Ooh, he goes for a, a long range effort and it goes scarily wide. Next highlight, 20 minutes left. Huddleston on the right hand side for Derby inside the Holmes. Holmes with the cross, but Nydam clears for Lamy. Plays across the right to Madison. We have got a slight injury with Herbie Kane. I will be taking him off in a second. Oh, what a goal! Oh, what a goal! For Lamy has a shot. It looked like it was going miles wide, but it took a nasty deflection. That's gone in. We will take that 1 0. All three subs made. Dane Downs comes on for the injured Kane. El Mazzini comes on for Nydam, who's on the yellow card. And we've also brought on Ben Morris on the right for Madison, who was restricted to only 75 minutes play today due to a recent injury. Two minutes, one minute of extra time remaining. Good corner, found a header for Morris, but Carson got there and saves. Stays 1-0. Fernando now coming forward. Cool, good tackle by Abrashi. It's certainly a rash tackle. Abrashi plays the ball forward. Lorero stops it from going... Pass the defence, Kenlock now back to Bielkowski. Are we just seeing time out? Don't mess it up. Fernando to Morris on the right. Morris marching forward. Switches out left to Kenlock. 30 seconds left inside the downs. Back out to Kenlock. Kenlock's tripped on the edge of the box. That's going to be a free kick for town in a dangerous position. Just a warner for Lee Mason. No cards this time. Just a few seconds left. Ken Zalalem. Make it 2-0. We've possibly won the last kicks of the game. So Lalan goes for goal. Just wide. And the final whistle is gone. We have won. 1-0. Wow, what an episode this has been. To beat Fulham and Derby both 1-0 and dominate both games. I am absolutely chuffed to bits. Come on. Well, following those two victories today, that leaves us now in 14th place. And now 10 points clear the relegation zone. That them early season struggles now seem like a distant memory. And I'm... I'm so happy with it. We're out of that right now and we're pushing up the league. Hopefully we can keep on pushing and finally push for the playoffs. And if we can get promoted this season after that disastrous start, we will all be buzzing. Come on. So next up we've got Villa in fourth place, then Bolton in ninth. We've then got Millwall towards the bottom of the table, struggling this year after their, their um, playoff stint last season. And then we've got Brentford who are 11th and Sunderland who are 7th. I think we'll come back for a double header against Brentford and Sunderland. If we can win the next three games, we'll certainly pick points up. We'll go into these games. Certainly the Sunderland game of seventh, that could end up being a game where we push ourselves into the playoffs. We've got four league wins on the trot now. Playing absolutely brilliant. Haven't conceded a goal on four, goal, four games either. That's fantastic. 
we can continue that form into the next three, three games, into the next episode, then that could be an interesting one. Cheers as always, guys. See you later.